Let's go. So good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us tonight for the launch of Team Wilder. It's a real pleasure for, uh, for us to be here this evening. Um, I'm Ed Mundy. I'm the Community Wildlife Officer for Oxfordshire and West Berkshire. Um, and I'm going I'm to be your host tonight. Um, but before we start, I just want to um, just go around and ask our panellists to briefly introduce themselves. So, uh, Liz, do you want to say hello? Hello. My name's Liz Shearer. I am the People Engagement Director. And um, I'm Liz Spate, and I am Head of Communications and Media. Welcome along, everyone. Good to see so many of you here tonight. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name's Andy Gunn, and I'm the Community Wildlife Manager. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Carrie Starbuck, and I'm the Engaging with Nature Project Officer for the Nature Discovery Centre in Thatcham. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ed Turpin. I am the Community Wildlife Officer for Buckinghamshire and East Berkshire. Right, well, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's our panel for this evening. Um, so we're just going to have a look at the um, the agenda for this evening. Um, there's a little bit of lag on the on the slide. So there we are. So. Um, for those of you who might not be familiar um, with us, I'm just going to have a little introduction to Bebout. Um, then Liz Shearer is going to be talking about Team Wilder, what it is and why we're launching it now. Liz Spate will then be looking at what we are doing to support the initiative and how you can get involved. And then Ed Turpin is going to look about, uh, talk about what we can do, um, we can all do for wildlife um, on our patch. Um, we're going to have time for questions at the end, um, so please do submit your questions via the Q&A um, or the chat function. We'll do our best to answer as many as we can later on. And also please do share any sort of thoughts you have, any suggestions, any responses to what we're discuss discussing this evening. We would genuinely, genuinely love to hear what you think. So we are the Berkshire, Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire Wildlife Trust. Uh, we are part of a national federation of 46 county uh, wildlife trusts in the UK, but we're very much a local and independent charity. We were founded and have been headquartered in Oxford since 1959. We manage 86 of our own nature reserves, four education centres, two visitor centres and an environment centre. We employ 150 staff and we're supported by over 1,700 volunteers without whose support we simply could not do a fraction of what we do. Um, we also have over 50,000 fantastic members. In addition to managing our own reserves, um, via our people engagement work, we also encourage others to help protect local wildlife. And we work to inspire and support people and communities across the region to take action for nature on their patch, whatever its size. We've also got an increasing focus on working with landowners and local authorities. And we've recently launched our ecological consultancy, Future Nature and the Land Advisory Service, working together for nature's recovery on a landscape scale. We receive no core governmental funding and our work is made possible entirely by the generosity of our members and other supporters. So Liz, over to you. Thanks, Ed. In order to kick us off this evening, I'd like to share with you a video, and this will give you a flavour of what we already deliver across our three counties in order to put nature into recovery.
I love that video. I feel very summery now. Over the last 18 months, we've been creating and refreshing our strategy. What's needed to put locally, what's needed locally rather, to put nature into recovery whilst responding to the national call of action um, from the Wildlife Trusts and other NGOs and government. We want to see more nature everywhere for everyone in towns and rural areas and put nature into recovery in Berkshire, Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire. Our ambition for wildlife is bigger and bolder than ever before. Our plan for the next year and beyond sets one simple overarching aim, and that's to create more nature everywhere. It takes us further towards our long-term goal of 30% of land across the three counties being well-managed for nature by 2030. It's an ambitious plan, and we know we can't do it on our own. We must look beyond the boundaries of the land we own and manage and think more on a landscape scale. We need to inspire people to take action for nature and we need to do all we can to restore wilder landscapes. By 2026, our wilder plan will mean we will see nature in our region on the road to recovery with wilder, more connected landscapes and struggling species now starting to thrive. We'll be working with more decision makers, developers and land managers, so we're all working with nature, not against it. And thousands more people across our three counties will be inspired to take action to help bring back our precious wildlife. Only then can we achieve our vision of more nature everywhere for everyone, for people, for nature and for climate. A wild of Berkshire, Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire where we can all live and thrive. So we want more nature everywhere and with your help we can tip, tip the scale back in nature's favour. Evidence tells us that if one in four people take action for wildlife, this can be enough to change minds and behaviour of the majority, creating a new normal. And this is what drives Team Wilder. So another video to introduce the concept. Look outside your door and you'll find some of our most wonderful wildlife, from bats, birds and butterflies to poppies and pond life. But times are changing. You may know the humble hedgehog is in trouble. 95% of our prickly pals have vanished and they're not alone. One by one, the calls of turtle doves and nightingales have disappeared too, along with our insects, and the rate of decline is speeding up. The way we farm and build on our land is wiping out wildlife. Nature and climate are in crisis and we're reaching an irreversible tipping point. But with your help, we can tip the scales back in nature's favour. If just one in four people takes action to help our wildlife, we can transform our three counties with more nature everywhere. You can start as small and local as you like, cut a hole in your garden fence to create a hedgehog highway, plant bee-friendly flowers in your window box, or join like-minded neighbours to lobby your local MP. Like a giant jigsaw, if everyone picks up a piece, we can create a wilder picture. But the most important piece of the puzzle is you. You can be part of the solution, and Team Wilder can help. So be part of the solution and join Team Wilder today. Let's create a wilder future together. Now I've seen that video more times than I can count and I remember and it still inspires me. So if we are to put nature into recovery, we know that we can't do this alone. We must work together and everyone can be part of the solution. And that's where Team Wilder comes in. Essentially, it is a community of people taking action for wildlife. So welcome to Team Wilder, welcome on board. We know that to have the biggest impact and to inspire those one in four people, we have to make nature relevant to more people. And that relevance, it's like a key to unlocking the potential in everyone. And this is where inspiring storytelling comes into it taking different experiences from the Team Wilder community and turning them into ways that can help people see the relevance of nature to them. This is what will unlock that potential and inspire more people to take action for wildlife. 
Team Wilder is also about making those actions visible. And Liz will talk, talk more about this. But essentially, it's about celebrating and sharing actions in nature. We will use different platforms for sharing these actions, including social media and our website. The hashtag Team Wilder, it's out there now, so feel free to use it and be part of the movement. And the last part of the story is about equipping people with the skills, knowledge and resources to take action. And Ed will speak more about this too. I'm really proud of our Team Wilder journey so far. We've got the website up and running with stories and the start of what will be a suite of resources for everyone to use. This gives Team Wilder a great kickstart, but now we need others to join us, you guys. Join in and help deliver more action for nature. And this is what this evening is all about. And the team is going to tell us more. Over to you, Liz. Thanks very much, Liz. So as I said, I work in the communications team at BBAT. So I'm partly responsible for spreading the word about Team Wilder. Um, we're really excited about the idea because there's so many great stories to tell about the work that you, our communities, are doing to help wildlife out there. So it's amazing to see so many of you here tonight and I hope you'll help spread the word too. So tell your friends, your family, workmates, neighbours, people down at the allotment, tell them about Team Wilder because it'll make my job a little bit easier. Uh, and the more people we get on board, the more people who join Team Wilder and do their bit for nature, the more quickly we can help nature recover. And looking at the state of nature today, it does desperately need our help, unfortunately. Our natural world is sounding the alarm bell. Nature and climate are at absolute crisis point, and we need urgent action if we're going to bring nature back. In my lifetime, we've seen a staggering 68% decline in wildlife populations worldwide, 68%. A million species are now at risk of extinction, and it's actually really shocking. And we can see that dire picture played out on our doorsteps, as we saw in the video, 95% of our hedgehogs have disappeared. And in the last century, we've lost 97% of our wildflower meadows and around half of our hedgerows. I know I'm noticing fewer insects squashed on my windscreens. You just, on my windscreen, you hardly get any anymore, do you? Less birdsong, fewer bees, fewer butterflies, and our climate is so unpredictable. Sadly, the way that we're farming and building on our land in our region is leading to wild spaces becoming more and more fragmented, and nature is just getting squeezed out. But happily, we can do something about it. If we all work together, we can bring nature back. As Liz said, BBAT has a wilder vision of more nature everywhere. It's that simple for everyone in urban and rural areas. We want to see 30% of our land across our three counties well managed for wildlife by 2030. We want to put nature into recovery on our patch. And imagine what a difference it would make for nature, if a third of all our gardens, our school grounds, a third of our business premises, council land, farmland and sports pitches, imagine if a third of all of those made space for wildlife and encouraged nature with more flowers, bug hotels, bird feeders and patches left to grow wild uh, for nature. Now, our ecologists have put together an amazing nature recovery network map that highlights all of the joined up areas across our three counties that are really important for wildlife, beyond our own nature reserves and living landscape areas. By really concentrating our efforts as ecologists on protecting and restoring nature across this network, we stand the best chance of achieving a wilder, more connected landscape and reaching our 30 by 30 aim. But it's a huge job, as Liz said, and we can't do this on our own. And this is where Team Wilder comes in. You can help us fill in the gaps to join up all of these areas, giving wildlife like hedgehogs, birds and insects a much better chance of moving around. Those blue zones are, are the urban areas and urban areas are just as important as rural areas. For example, a single hedgehog can travel several miles searching for food every night. So if we all join up our gardens by cutting holes in our fences to create a hedgehog highway, we can give hedgehogs and other wildlife the best chance of surviving and thriving. And uh, moving on to the next slide, gardens, hedgerows and road vergers are all vital wild corridors that enable wildlife to reach new areas. But we need to connect these wild spaces up. We all need to do a little bit to help with that. It's just like a massive wild jigsaw puzzle. 
So it's a bit broken at the moment, and we know we can't solve this puzzle on our own. But if we all pick up a piece and join our wild actions together, we can create a much wilder picture across our three counties. It's going to take people power and lots of it, and you can be an important, important part of the solution by joining Team Wilder. So thanks for being here tonight. Um, and we would love to share your stories um, on our fab new online jigsaw map. Um, each one of these puzzle pieces is a pin that re represents an action for wildlife. So whether that's building a small pond, feeding the birds, lobbying your MP, volunteering with a wildlife group, um, or putting up a bird box. So whether you're an individual, a community group, a school, a business, a farmer, or a private landowner, do please put your puzzle piece on our new Team Wilder Jigsaw map and share some photos too, if you like, because we're so interested to see what people are up to. And we really want to share your stories and we'll use some of those on our website and our, on our social media as well. So the more people we can get to join Team Wilder and to record their actions for wildlife, the more people will be inspired to get involved. And we'll get a really good idea of who's doing what, where and with whom. And we can start to join up some of the people in your local community so that you can swap tips, share ideas and really get involved in nature's recovery at a local level. So do go online, put your jigsaw puzzle piece on the map. I can't say that. Jigsaw puzzle piece on the map. And we're really looking forward to seeing all of those puzzle pieces starting to join up across our three counties, which means that we'll have so many more people on nature's side, which is just fantastic. Team Wilder can make a huge difference to nature. You can make a huge difference to nature and we can't wait to see the results. So don't forget to fill in your piece of the puzzle. Over to you, Ed Turpin. Thank you very much, Liz. So we've talked a lot about our target of having 30% of land uh, in our three counties well managed for wildlife by 2030. And we know that it's a really, really big challenge, but we're confident that together we can achieve this goal. We need your help. So we wanted to share a few tips um, and tricks and just some ideas of how you can get involved and how you can help wildlife. There's so many great ways um, that you can help. Um, we just wanted to give you a few ideas and whether that's at home, in our gardens or further afield. Imagine the difference it would make if everyone took a small action for wildlife. You can start as small and local as you like, or you can think a little bit bigger. One of the best places to start taking action for wildlife is at home. Nature reserves are no longer enough to help stem the decline in our wildlife. And that's where our gardens and outdoor spaces really, really come in. There are more than 24 million gardens in the UK. And if all of them were wildlife friendly, the collective impact would be absolutely enormous. Gardening for wildlife is a really great way of helping nature. Whether you leave an area of your lawn to grow longer, create a wildlife friendly pond, or just put some food out for visiting birds, wildlife gardening has something great for everyone. It's also great for our mental health and wellbeing. It's now believed that spending just a few seconds each day enjoying the colours of plants and flowers can reduce our blood pressure and improve our mood. As we've already heard, Hedgehogs are in serious trouble. They're losing habitat by the day, but by cutting a really just as quite a small hole at the bottom of your fence, you can help create a hedgehog highway. This will help ensure that our prickly fowls can access all of the habitat that they really desperately need. Pollinator friendly plants are really, really important for supporting a huge range of our insect species. Studies have found that a bumblebee is only ever 40 minutes away from starvation. So a network of pollen rich flowers can really make a big difference. It doesn't matter what size your outdoor space is, whether it's a garden, a courtyard or a shared outdoor space. A few pollinator friendly plants is a great way of helping bees, butterflies, beetles and moths. And the plants look great too. When you venture out, consider picking up some litter as you go. Hedgehogs, swans, frogs and foxes frequently suffer injuries as a result of getting caught up in waste. You don't have to be on an organised litter pick to help. Just pick up any rogue litter as you go and just pot it, pop it in the bin and that will make a really, really big difference. Volunteering is a fantastic way of getting outdoors. You can learn new skills and you can meet new people all in one. It's a fantastic way of helping nature in your local area. And there are some fantastic opportunities to see new places and meet some genuinely brilliant people along the way. There are loads of conservation organisations across the three counties who are all doing some genuinely amazing work. They need your support to help them continue their hard work and make a difference for nature. There's also lots of roles available too, from helping with practical conservation to working with school groups, there is absolutely something for everyone. 
Lots of towns and villages are seeing local wildlife groups start and they need your help more than ever. These groups rely on the support of volunteers. So see if your local group needs some help. If you can't find a local group, you could try setting up your own community nature group. This will help bring like-minded people together and will help turn your local patch wild. Many organisations and local groups couldn't carry out their work without the support of volunteers. Giving up just a small amount of your time can make an enormous difference. By campaigning for nature, we can help to give nature a voice and work towards creating policies that protect our natural world. By writing to your MP or even meeting them in person, you can help them to understand more about the local wildlife that we all care about. You can find a step-by-step -step guide to lobbying your local MP on our website and we can make sure we share a link to our website at the end. But you can also join demonstrations like the COP26 march that recently took place in Oxford. Supporting events like this are a brilliant way of bringing attention to major issues that our wildlife is facing. You can also contact your local council to encourage them to take better care of green spaces with wildlife in mind. Parks and road verges can all be fantastic homes for wildlife, but they need to be managed with nature in mind. By encouraging local authorities to manage green spaces for wildlife, we can start to work towards a network of connected habitat and havens for wildlife in both urban and rural settings. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, share your story. Whether you're sharing that story with friends and family or sending it into us, telling other people about what you do is a great way of spreading the message. The more people who support wildlife, the bigger the impact. You can share your stories with us via social media like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can also add your puzzle piece to our Team Wilder map on our website. This helps encourage and inspire others to get involved. Wildlife is in crisis, but together we can make a difference. We know that our 3030 target is going to be a challenge, but together we can achieve it. Thank you, Ed, Liz and Liz. I think that was really inspiring stuff. Um, before we finish with a few words from our president, Steve Backshaw, and move on to the Q&A, and please see we have lots of questions coming through, um, so keep them coming in. Um, just like to tell you about um, some upcoming events. So tonight is the first in a series of five webinars. And over the next four Thursday evenings, we're going to be hosting a series of talks. Um, next week, um, Ed T and I will be back um, to talk a little about rewilding and how the concept could be applied to help wild ourselves and our neighbourhoods. Uh, the following week on the 2nd of December, Carrie is going to be talking about nature and well-being. Carrie, are you able to give us a little teaser on what people might expect? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Ed. So I'm Carrie. I'm the Engaging with Nature Project Officer. And Engaging with Nature is a two-year funded project uh, harnessing the healing power of nature to improve mental health and also encourage pro-environmental behaviours. So on Thursday, the 2nd of December at 7 o'clock, will be a one hour interactive workshop delving into um, the research behind how nature um, improves our well-being and also looking at practical ways we can strengthen our, strengthen our nature connection, especially during these dark winter months. So I hope to see you there. Thank you. Thanks, Carrie. Looking forward to that one. Um, and then the week after, we're going to be taking a look at some of our local wildlife. Um, some of the more sort of common key species, the threats they face and how we can support them. Um, and finally, on the 16th of December, we'll be looking at why spending time outdoors is good for us, regardless of our age, and suggest a few wildlife activities that we can all have a go at. Um, full information um, is available on our website at bebout.org.uk forward slash events. Um, please do check them out and we hope to see many of you again. And now, Steve Backshaw. My name is Steve Backshaw, President of the Barks, Bucks and Oxfordshire Wildlife Trust. And I want to tell you about Team Wilder. Our hope is to create a community of people from all different walks of life who want to give nature a second chance. We could be starting small by planting nectar-rich flowers in our garden for the bees or, or cutting a hole in your fence for the hedgehogs, maybe making a wildlife pond. But we're going to build up to think bigger. All of us together can start to create different parts of that wildlife jigsaw that can really properly help nature bounce back on our own patch. So get involved and join Team Wilder.
marvelous i don't think steve was in marlow there was he um so um, i'm going to invite our panelists back now and we're going to see if we've had any questions thanks ed for bringing us back carrie sorry i think you you may have one there to to pick up we have had quite a few questions come in i think we've answered most of them in the chat function um there's some really nice ones in there um the from Derek asking about volunteering. So yeah, you can have a look on our website at volunteering opportunities. And we do have a volunteer journey advisor who, um, who monitors that. So you can, you can apply to be a volunteer and then we will try and match you up with opportunities in your local area. So thanks very much for that one. Carrie, have you had any come in? I have actually, and there's a few um, that I've kept kind of open in the question box because it was relating to the brilliant puzzle map. So um, there's a, one question that was DM to me was around um, being slightly outside the area of the map that they still like to contribute. Is that possible? Yeah, so we've had a few people asking about this actually, and we have had the odd one um, way out of our region put on the map. We even had somebody in Australia putting a puzzle piece on. So, you know, they all count. Um, <laughs> but that's sorry, that's my dog coughing. Um, <laughs> Um, so if you're slightly out of the area, then please do add your puzzle piece on because nature is everywhere and the more nature we can get, the better, really. So, yeah, if you're slightly outside of our boundaries, then please do add your puzzle piece in and um, tell your friends if you know anyone that lives in our patch, you know, get them to, to get involved as well. I think we've had somebody in Birmingham put one on as well. So go on and have a look at the map and, and see what people have put on there already. And it'll sort of inspire you to, to get involved. And the, the more we have across the, the country, really, the more that nature's getting help. So, yeah, the more the merrier. Really. Brilliant, thank you. And so to follow on from that, because Staff's asked a couple of great questions about the map as well. He says, is it one puzzle piece per person or one per action? Yeah, I, I would say one puzzle piece per person, um, but put loads of actions on there because they'll just tell us everything that you're doing. Um, and if you're sort of, if you're doing something at work, then maybe you could put, put a puzzle piece there. And if you're doing something at home, maybe you could put a puzzle piece there. Because I know some people, really do an awful lot for nature they work with the brownies or you know they they work at do stuff at work and they they do stuff um maybe at their parents house so i think it's the different places that things are happening that we're interested in but if you at home are doing lots of different things at home then please just put them all in in the box when you come to put your puzzle piece on and then we can see that you're a really big piece of the the jigsaw in your on your patch um, so yeah and if you've got photos then please share them because it's just so nice to see what you're up to and then we can we can share those with, with other people and it just really inspires people to get involved and if you haven't even done anything yet if you're just thinking of doing something then please put your puzzle piece on as well because all of this stuff is going to add up to a, a much wilder picture for our area so yes if, if you're thinking of getting involved stick your puzzle piece on and then it'll, it'll inspire you to actually do it hopefully. Fantastic. I've also encouraged Good Stuffer, who's doing lots and lots of amazing work on the ground, to get in touch directly so we could share the story wider. Um, so I've done that at Team Wilder at vbelt.org.uk. So if anyone else as well is here tonight doing loads of great work, then do get in touch. And then following on from that one is, does working in a Belt work party count as an action and should it be contributed by Belt or the volunteers? Do you want me to take that one again? I'm happy to. <laughs> Someone else wants to jump in. I would say put on your own puzzle piece. Yes, don't leave it to be about because this is all about you. And this is all about you and you getting involved. And so if you're volunteering, if you're part of a work party, then yeah, put, put your puzzle piece on and then we can see where you live. It, it's a bit complicated actually, isn't it? Because is it is it where you're doing the thing or is it where you live? I would say it's where you live or, um, for something like that. And, um, and yeah, and thanks to all you brilliant volunteers out there because we really couldn't couldn't do any of this without you. So yeah, get, get your volunteer puzzle piece on definitely and then it, it'll inspire others. Brilliant, thank you. And then I think we've got some few that are coming through now. Um, so this is a really great question actually, is are you hoping to run any Team Wilder events or workshops at the visitor centres reserves um, or will this typically be focused on communities? Who's going to take that? Liz, Shira, do you want to jump in on that one? Or do you want yeah, to... I, I can absolutely take that one. Great. Um, 
yeah, basically is the answer, yes, we will. Um, I think it's fair to say that Team Wilder, we are just starting out on our journey. So we've got the website up and running, we've got the puzzle map going on. Um, and basically now, 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 the, now the hard work really is gonna start. So it's about um, bringing together more resources from, uh, from, uh, for people to use. Um, it's about actually engaging via events and, and activities, and they absolutely can be run or will be run at our, at our visitor centers. Um, all of our events will be um, advertised on uh, Be About um, website. Um, we, we saw that flash up, uh, uh, up previously. Um, but actually, I think it's probably also worth saying that it's not just about Be About. This is this. Yes, this is this is a wildlife trust initiative. But actually, it's not about us doing it to people. It's about us doing it all together. It's got to be about a movement. So if there are other um, groups out there that are that are um, delivering activities, then get on social media, hashtag Team Wilder and promote your activities. And that's how people can also um, find out about what's going on in their local patch. Right, there's a, there's a couple more coming in now, isn't there? So which is nice. Um, so I think we kind of covered this one already, but can puzzle pieces be updated as more actions are taken or or will it then be a different piece, but in the same location? Uh, maybe one for Liz. Yeah, so I don't think you can update them actually, Tatiana. Um, so you'll just have to put another one on and tell us about all the fab stuff you've been doing. So um, yeah, and it, it'll you'll still see it because it'll be the same postcode, but you'll be able to zoom in and see it. So yeah, as, as you're doing more stuff, then tell us about it and, and put it on social media as well and tag us in and and, um, and tell your friends. And maybe you can make a little story about it and, uh, and tell us about your journey. And then we can put that on our website and we've got um, what we're calling Team Wilder Stories on there already. And we've got people of all ages actually have, have, have been doing things for, for nature. And um, so the more and more of those Team Wilder Stories we can get, the more we can share them. And, and the more it just sort of, it just sort of empowers people really and, and just makes people feel part of it and feel that that even if they're doing what they think is a little thing if we all do something it really does make a difference so so yeah tell us what you're up to you know if you're building a pond maybe do a little story about it you know take some pictures take some video and then we could use you your story on on the website um as sort of like a blog um so yeah get in touch tell us what you're doing we'd really love to hear hear about it great thanks liz and then next question from Val, um, another and similar initiative is the National Queen's Green Canopy for the Jubilee next year. It encourages communities to plant trees and is a great way to get a group started, so long as the trees are planted in the right place. So it's not actually a question, it's more of a statement. Um, so just to raise awareness of that as well, really. I mean, that's also what we're trying to do is, is link up with other organisations who, who are doing things. And we see Team Wilder as a way of trying to kind of you know make this one big movement so yeah absolutely great to, to link up um, and then final question from Claire um, do you have any branding that you wish members to use when uh, when shouting about uh, or having joined Team Wilder on their social media and websites or shall we screenshot our puzzle pieces on the map great question that who wants to take that one I can take it if you like, that's no problem. Um, I would absolutely shout about it with um, hashtag Team Wilder. I would definitely, I'm just reading it again to, 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 to recap. I would definitely screenshot it as well. Um, and also, I guess it might also be worth um, just mentioning that um, bra branding, no, it's, it's, it's all about um, hashtags um, and sharing stories. But actually, so one part of um, the suite of resources that uh, I think is probably going to come quite soon is, um, is a suite of uh, templates almost in terms of posters and things like that. And that will involve um, branding of hash, uh, you know, with, with hashtags. So you can kind of drop your drop your um the details of your community group within that so um i know that's definitely on the list to complete um in the in the next few months so um yeah hopefully that helps great thanks liz um next question uh where do we go if we need support for example how big a hole a hedgehog highway needs ed t maybe for that one yeah absolutely there's absolutely stacks of fantastic resources on our website. 
Um, I mentioned earlier there's a step-by-step guide to lobbying your MP, but there are also guides to digging holes for hedgehogs, digging ponds, um, planting for pollinators, all sorts of great stuff. Um, and it is kind of evolving as we go so there can be more and more resources as we progress. Um, so the link for our website is hopefully just going to appear in your chats about now. Um, but beavout.org.uk forward slash actions. Um, there's loads and loads of great stuff on there. Highly recommended. Um, just, yeah, check it out. There's loads of stuff. Uh, and it's all family friendly as well. So it doesn't matter how old or young you might be. There is something for everyone. So yeah, get stuck in, have a look. Um, and definitely check that out. Thanks, Ed. Um, and I think you've just answered the last question. Where can we find more actions for Team Wilder? So yeah, as Ed just said, he's just posted that up there, and there's there's tons of brilliant things on there that you can you can access to to act for wildlife locally. And if you do need more specialist advice, just get in touch with us. Um, the email address that you can use is the uh, email address that should be in the chat now. Team Wilder at uk. But if you are looking for something in particular or if you're a community group or if you're looking to start a community group, just get in touch with us um, and we will do what we can to help. Um, so, yeah, get in touch. Send us what you're up to. We'd love to hear about all of your amazing work. Brilliant. And we've just had another question pop in from, from Penny. Is this initiative just for BBAL or shared across all areas of the Wildlife Trusts? Should I take that one? Um, it is shared across wildlife trusts. Um, so as Ed mentioned earlier, there are there are there is a wildlife trust for every county um, across the UK. There are 47 of us, um, and we are all on the Team Wilder journey. Um, we're all independent, however, so we all move at, um, at, at, at different rates, if you like. Um, so there are a few that are ahead of us at the moment. Um, our neighbours in Hampshire, as an example, Somerset and, and Surrey. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, Team Wilder is across the board. Um, but as I say, we, we do move at different speeds. We're all independent. So, um, so the, some quite haven't gone live just yet. Thanks, Liz. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so one more thing just come in. Uh, people have probably seen this anyway. It's uh, Hannah just saying, hello, infiltrated from Hampshire. Uh, great to see Team Wilder spread. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's really lovely to, to see that because uh, it all kind of started in Hampshire, really. So that's that's amazing. Um, yeah, it's spreading, Hannah. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're, we're into it here um that's that's everything that's come through at the moment um so i think i'll, I'll hand back to to ed yeah thank you thanks everybody um that's it so just a final reminder that so we've got the events coming up over the next four thursdays ed's just going to post the link to that in the chat um if you have any questions um, or want to have any comments or any feedback, then please just drop us a line at teamwilder at bbout.org.uk. That's our email address. Um, and I think then that all that leaves is for me to say thank you again to our panel this evening, but mostly thank you all for coming along um, this evening. As I said, it's been a real pleasure hosting you. Hopefully we will see at least some of you again next week. Same time, same place. Enjoy the rest of your evening and welcome to Team Wilder. Thank you.